I was kind of like you, I would say, in a way where at first I was like, I have been given this incredible platform and there's so much support and I want to reply to everybody and thank them and really, you know, be as humble and as gracious as possible. And very slowly I realized, like, there's a lot of haters out there and there's a lot of trolls and there's a lot of people who will say whatever the hell they want to say to get their two seconds of fame or their 15 minutes of fame, if you will. And so I know even like this week, crazy things on social media have been popping up of things that happened when you were single, when you were in your 20s and just a man dating. So is there anything that you want to address here first and foremost to really get out there so all of our listeners can hear it from you directly? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's so much I want to address, and that's where I'm like, can I all can I fit it all into one podcast? <laughs> Probably not, but again, I'm a big talker, as people will see, especially on these podcasts, uh, which was a little bit different from yeah on the show, where again, I think something I've seen is people say, oh, like he seems that he doesn't have much to say to these women who are, you know, giving him their telling them their life stories, and I remember. I went into the whole experience with my family saying, Clayton, you're a great talker, but try to be a really great listener. Like, make sure you you emphasize focusing on keeping your mouth shut and listening. And I think that's what I did a lot early on. And I had a lot of women say, hey, you're great. You're, you're such a great listener. Uh, but as far as like the criticism being like, hey, the guy doesn't really say a whole lot. I think, again, it's kind of twofold. On one aspect, I was trying to be really good at just the listening aspect. The other side of it, uh, I also, it's, you know, 30 women come in the house and you're talking so far, this is day four or five or whatever it is that people are seeing this episode air. And these women are starting to open up and tell me some very personal stories. I'm still trying to figure out, hey, who this person is, what they're, how they are, like what, what are their inner workings, and how can I best respond to something so personal? And so I think just because how the environment is, you really jump into those intimate discussions very early on. But if you don't, if you're still getting to understand that person, I think at least I find myself being cautious because I don't want to, you know, I, I'm still trying to figure out who that person is, and I don't want to say something that might be misinterpreted. Um, Kind of that, that's something I saw, saw on the side. Uh, as far as addressing uh, what I've seen online, yeah, I've seen a lot of these TikToks that have come up as of lately uh, regarding my past, um, you know, or the, my, my relationships that I had in the past. And like, listen, here's the thing. I never claim to be uh, some saint per se or some or celibate for the last six years of my single life. Like I was single and mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoyed that singleness. There's a period of my life where like, yeah, I wasn't looking for anything serious and I was just having fun and enjoying that aspect of it. Uh, and, you know, I think that's just something maybe everybody goes through in some capacity. And I went through that. And so I am now starting to see a lot of these things that are coming up. Uh, I mean, listen, I, I don't understand a whole lot of why people bring it up per se, because I'm like, I think we all went through this, but uh and maybe some people more than others. But the thing was, is like, yeah, I went out and dated and um, and had my fun. And, and really what it came to is like it came to a head on this year, like on my 28th birthday, I realized that I was doing the same things. Uh, I hadn't changed my dating life, per se. I haven't changed, uh, you know, my work. Everything was just kind of stagnant. And I felt like I was going through the motions. And I realized, like, you need to start making changes to see change. And that also can't cut into my dating life. Uh, I realized that I can't keep going down this path of just kind of loosely dating because that's not going to bring me the happiness that I'm looking for, which is ultimately another person in my life that I can wake up to every day. And that's, uh, and, and they'll be there with me along that journey of life. So um, yeah, I see the things online. I think it's, it is what it is. I, I, I um, yeah, I, I guess for me, it's like, yes, uh, and some of the, what I've seen is absolutely ridiculous. It's not factual. <laughs> like I've seen some things that it's like, I saw one today, the guy said, Hey, Oh, he was, uh, this, I walked in on him with my girlfriend. I'm like, I don't even know who this guy is. Yeah. Or someone else said like, I've been dating. I dated him for five years. I was like, how can you make that? Like, how can you say you've dated me for five years? Like, where is the evidence? But again, right. like there's other, it's just, there's just so much. And um, I don't know. I, for what it is, I just want people to know like, Hey, I didn't claim to be this guy who just didn't date around or was just like in my, in a hole for the last five, six years. Like I went and had my fun. I did, but that obviously transitions once I hit my 20th birthday this year, things I realized I started need to make some changes.